Are you out there? Are you out there watching? Look, I got a blank face today, y'all. I got a blank face. <laughs> What's up with that? <laughs> I just didn't feel like it. The most I could do today was pop on some eyelashes and that was it. So, this what you're getting. How you doing? <laughs> What's up, Basil Bates? It's your girl Joy back with another Basil Finger. I am back today because someone asked me, How do I make my roast pork shoulder or pork butt? I don't know what it is. So, I bought another one to try to feed these kids during this quarantine, something that's going to last for a long time. I've been kind of lazy. I had my meat soaking <laughs> for two days in a salt and vinegar mixture, and that tenderizes the meat. And now I'm not even gonna let it marinate. Then I typically let it marinate in its seasoning for a day or two, but I'm just gonna season it and throw it in the oven for 300 for like, seven hours or whatever six hours I don't, I don't know I'll see <laughs> and um but then that means I kind of have to have something else for dinner because it's late at night so I'll monitor it I'll um, cook it cook it for about six to eight hours on low temperature so I want to show you guys how I make um my little paste so it's a little process and I have gloves to go with this process I have roasted garlic I have two heads of roasted garlic we uh, put those in the oven for about 30 minutes. And then this one is not roasted. This one I'll have to break all these apart, but then you stick them inside the um, pork, pork shoulder. And then I use Sazon. So I make a paste. So I make a paste with it. So I put everything in here and then I mash it up. Um, adobo, onion powder, garlic powder, and pepper. Now don't get me wrong, other people may make it a different way or they may add other seasonings. That's fine. <laughs> um, my Puerto Rican friend showed me how to make this years and years ago and I make it every year. I may make it twice a year. Um, I usually do it in a slow cooker, but my slow cooker broke so, and I have a um, Instapot, but I don't know how to use it. Maybe today is the day to use, learn how to use it. I don't even know if that would fit in the pot. I don't know, maybe today will be the day. I ain't trying to mess up my meat. Anyway, let's get started. At least with the foundation and how it's made. Okay, here we go.
300 and I'll check it. And if it's nice and tender, it's good to go. If it needs another hour, I'll just add an hour, but my base will be six hours. So, and it's so good, but typically I will let that marinate in the fridge for one to two days with the seasoning, the rub on it. And I was out of um, olive oil, so I didn't add olive oil. I added maybe like two um, tablespoons of regular oil. So with that said, and I'll show you how it looks when it comes out and how tasty it is. So I'm pretty excited. Oh, it's so good. It just takes a long time to cook. So, so it's like that special, special treat that's worth the wait. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. It doesn't cost you a thing. So until next time, later.